So while we might be having a bit of a break from international cricket at the moment, certainly yeah, from a South African perspective, the ongoing Ram Slam T20 Challenge has kept local cricket fans entertained and enthralled as our domestic teams battle it out for the title of South Africa's best T20 franchise. And joining us this morning to chat a little about that quest to lift the T20 Challenge trophy um, come the end of this very dramatic season, we've got Ompile Ramele, Rassi Fanadissen and Nikki Fanaberg here from the Biz Hub High Fault Lions cricket team gentlemen very good morning. Morning, very good morning it looks like you're up this early every day that's that's oh. the life of a professional sportsman is um guys thank you so much first of all um, let's just get it over and done with quickly not the best weekend um what do you make of of the the loss uh, this weekend dude um i think tough weekend for the biz hub high fault lions you know um but it, it wasn't also easy matches yeah. it was really competitive all the way to the wire and i think it's the kind of games that kept that kept the fans interested all the way. Completely, you know, man. so I think it, that's just going to be the nature of this T20 competition. I think it's going to go down all the way to the wire. Every team is going to be in it until the last game. So I think it's really going to be um, a buzz all the way through. Um, and that's exactly what we want out of the tournament. Exactly. Um, nice knock, Rassi, 45. Thanks, thank you. you didn't yeah. even know how many runs he scored. He's like, ah, 40, 45, could have been a 50. <laughs> um, that was a good run. Um, I, I have to, to ask very quickly, um, 6.35, the Springboks, um, of course, showing a much improved. Do you guys get time to, to enjoy other sports and goes? Did any of you catch the game? Yeah, definitely, yeah. We, we all watched it. Uh, yeah, we, I think most of the guys on the team in, in, enjoy other sports. You know, we, we know a few of the guys that, that, that play and whatever, so we, we always try to follow closely. Um, it, it almost added to my frustration seeing them play the kind of rugby that we know that they can play when you put into light the, the previous two games, especially our, our tour opener. Um, the, the mental aspects of the game just don't seem to be, to be clicking, but th this was the kind of Springbok team that we, we know, Nicky. Yeah, look, definitely. It's always, it's always a great thing for us if we see the Springboks playing well. Um, like you said, uh, the opening game is always a big one, and to you know start off a two on the back foot like that is always tough to come back. But hit I mean, me hard, man. They played, yeah. <laughs> hit I me real it, hard. <laughs> I think um, it hit everyone hard. They played pretty well. Um, so this, the, the Rams fan kind of climbed on us a little bit this season. Mm. Um, like we were expecting a, a very different um, global T20 mm. Challenge tournament coming around. Um, how do you wrap your head around having to enter into a season? Was was this a major uh, kind of shake-up for you guys? Maybe I can put that to you, Rossi. Um, not really. We, we would have pl played T20 uh, in any Either way, way this, yeah. this, this time of year. You know, uh, I think I think the old logistics part of it was was a bit uh, that threw us a bit. You know, some guys were going uh, to, to different teams, different cities, and and you sort of planned planned uh, accordingly. You know, mm. for family and whatever. So when what when it was cancelled was it was quite a tough blow blow for us but you know playing for the Lions is, is never a bad thing and yeah. uh, and playing playing in front of crowds and and playing T20 cricket is always brilliant so yeah, I think people didn't understand when the T20 format arrived on the scene how important it was going to be for the development of, and, and we know we hope that the, the global challenge will still come around. Um, but from a, a, a local franchise player's perspective, how important is it to have a platform like T20? I think it's fantastic for young players. I think from just the Biz Hub High Fault Lions perspective, you saw a guy like Ryan Rickleton yesterday come into the fore and just saw his class and his talent, you know, and I think it's that's just what's going to happen at a global level so to speak and i still think this competition in of itself it's actually a spectacular competition yeah. actually because it's showing we've got our all our international players available and you can just see almost the quality of cricket that's on show and just also the talent that's been unearthed during this competition and i think it's just actually it's almost like a very good teaser of what can happen when we start bringing in the likes of Chris Gale, Karen Pollard yeah. into the mix and we can have a really, really kind of blockbuster show. Just, just prefer not to play against Rabada. That'll, that'll be fine. <laughs> no, he's got to be in a team. <laughs> he's got to be on your side. He, he has uh, to be. Uh, gentlemen, thanks yeah. um, so much. I know it's off to the Free State for the next encounter, so we wish you all the best of luck for that. I know you've got to race off to an airport as well this morning, so we really do appreciate you guys stopping by. Good luck for the rest of the thanks. season, man. It's been great to connect with you. Yeah, We're going fantastic. to continue to delve into that weekend sport in a moment, get into the Springboks Challenge. And, of course, unfortunately, Super Sport United going down 2-1 on aggregate to TP Mazembe. They are not the African champions, but lots of excitement in the game.